Hello guys, this is Karthik from XVRAutomation.com and this is Agenda of our ALM with Team Foundation Dev and QA focused video series. So what we are going to discuss in this particular ALM with Team Foundation Server 2015 Dev and QA focused video series. So mainly we'll start discussing this Team Foundation Server which is very much required for both the developers and QA as a whole. So the agenda going to focus more on both the developers as well as the QAA side. But this particular video series is going to be a very, very basic kickstart of Team Foundation Server 2015 itself. But in ExilAutomation.com, we'll have even more video series on Team Foundation Server, which will focus on Team Foundation Server for QA focused and Team Foundation Server for ALM focused and Team Foundation Server exclusively for Dev focused. But this video series is going to be focusing more on Dev and QA as a whole. So we will have the Team Foundation Server with Introduction to Team Foundation Server 2015. And then we'll start our discussion with installing Team Foundation Server 2015. And also we'll create our first team project and team collection. And then we'll perform check in, check out and understanding workspaces of our projects in Team Foundation Server 2015. We'll then focus more on introduction to Team Foundation Server Web of 2015. We'll also understand Team Foundation Server 2015 roles and permissions. We'll then start understanding and creating our work items with Team Foundation Server 2015. We'll also understand and create items, links, and advanced operations with Team Foundation Server 2015. And we also start understanding the builds of Team Foundation Server 2015, which is really a most important concept. That's why I have started this as well for both Dev and QA focused video series. And then we'll start setting environments ready for our build executions, then creating our first build template with the XAML definitions. And then we'll start creating our first build template with 2015 build definition. So this is going to be more like a UI where you will create the team foundation server build definition much easier than your XAML definitions. So we'll talk about that as well. And also we will be discussing on triggering our builds which we have created and how to utilize these build templates in our team foundation server build execution in this particular video series. So this video series is completely going to be a power packed video series for both developers and QA. So let's get started guys. See you in our introduction session then.